Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video. We are using a newer technology to get you set up on WordPress really, really quickly. This is a very basic pet store website. And as I scroll down, you can see kind of a preview of what we're gonna build. It has all the elements of a typical website. Um, so whether you're selling a service or uh, digital products or whether you're selling e-commerce kind of people are used to this kind of template uh, in 2019 you'll, you'll notice uh, this template has great pictures well if you're not selling pets or if you're not a pet store you're not gonna be able to use these pictures but the idea is you can swap it around and this is just kind of a template you can see here pricing plans um, there's FAQs super important and those are collapsible of course uh, you can see here there's a blog and that's really important for marketing your business and WordPress of course is and still is in my opinion one of the best blogging platforms and I'll show you just get in touch basically a contact us page so first let's install WordPress on your computer and but not me, just so you know, they're, they're, they do quite a lot of different installations, not just for WordPress, that's why I trust them. And uh, they've been around for a while now and they've just been recently purchased by uh, another large corporation. So that's why you can trust them with your WordPress installation. It makes everything a lot smoother for you. Um, they support all the big platforms and we're just gonna do Windows. No, just take, take me to the download. So you need both of these components. Remember where you're installing this in. And of course you need your name. In this case, I'm just gonna do a quick testing name. Um, you'll kind of see why all these fields are used in WordPress as you go along with it. But uh, really, you just really need a proper email address and uh, login. Sometimes I like to keep my login the same as my email address, but you're free to do anything you want. Next, we called it a blog, but it's not really a blog. So there we go. That was super easy. Uh, normally, you know, back in the days, you would have to create an account with WordPress.org and then go through their, you know, upsells and then, you know, say no to a bunch of promos. Um, the reason I like this is just straightforward. Of course, WordPress, you know, it, it started as kind of like a community and open source. And, and, you know, they need to sell you some stuff, right? But, you know, luckily it's 2019. There's a lot of competitors. And now we have Bitnami, you know, making installation a lot easier for everyone. There you go. You have the very, very basic foundational wireframe i'll just call it of wordpress type login at the very end of your url so remember that username or email address okay, don't save it for now and here you go so this is kind of under the hood of your website it, it just gives you the business owner a way to manage all your info but don't be intimidated from it we're just gonna go right into theme design which is basically the exterior of your website it's what users see first so let's just choose you a nice theme to start with and of course if you can see right now this is the default theme there's really nothing to look at it, it, it really just shows you that it's a blogging platform to begin with, but you'll see we can do so much, so much more with WordPress. Go to appearance, themes, add new. And we're gonna search for the theme we like. So we're gonna search for the Astra theme is one of our favorite themes in WordPress. 
Um, there, there's a lot you can choose from nowadays and the really good ones are usually around 50 to 60 USD. Um, this one is free and it's gonna work for us. Um, don't, don't sweat the theme too much. All the good themes have some structural components that are gonna save you and if you're just learning, I, I recommend you, you know, not to be overly caught up on finding the perfect theme. Okay, so we're going to be activating, just let it load, slow down a bit, let it load. And we're going to choose Elementor, which is something that will help you build out the pages of your theme. If it seems like a lot of programs to upload right now, uh, wait to see what, you, what happens when you want to start making money on your WordPress site. Um, there's just lots of programs you need to install, but that's why a lot of people use WordPress because it's so customizable. Okay, so here we have different styles of your template. So basically this theme builder was nice enough to give us all these uh, pre-built websites using their theme. It's all compatible to the same theme, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just to help, help beginners kind of visualize what their website's gonna be. So I recommend you just picking, you know, picking something that is related to what you're actually doing so since we're doing a little pet store here we're gonna just go with this one from our example you can see see again the, all the different sections of this front page it's nicely built out and we're gonna hit import site at the very bottom left there what it's doing now is installing the page builder which is called Elementor it's downloading pictures it's basically setting up your theme exactly to how it was designed on the left here there we go so looks like there were no errors in the installation process so everything is the same as the preview we saw earlier so that's good so this is real this is what your website actually looks like if somebody were to visit right now and that was done in what in about 10 minutes so and of course you have to change the text you have to you know cater it to exactly how you want your business to be but and then oh this got this little sliding thing which hopefully you don't want to change or hopefully you can just delete if you don't like it and then just double checking to make sure everything was correct the blog needs a little bit more work the blog is actually going to be a lot of work because I need to write more blog articles to fill it out and getting touch some people will use contact us so I personally would change it to contact so so the first step you probably want to do is add a logo to your business. That's going to make a huge impact right away. So we're going to go to options under appearance here. So this is an option screen that the theme builder built out for us. It's just a convenient way for us to upload our logo. Different themes will have different ways of uploading logos. It does get confusing at times, but again, there, there's kind of a method to all the madness in all this. Let's change our logo. There we go. Yeah, that was just a white back, white logo, so that's why it looked like that against the white background. There we go. And the reason why there's different logos is um, the computer wants to optimize between your loading up for a cell phone or a desktop. Now we're going to edit the page directly with Elementor. This, that's this button up here. Just click on the main button. And now it's building another layer on top of your website, which is going to let you edit 
exactly kind of what you see is what you get. See, yeah, so you can click any text to start editing it. So previous generations, you know, they had to kind of go on the back end of WordPress into that dashboard and edit the front page. But now we get a lot of fun tools to, to use to, uh, to have a much easier experience with this. Just to show you how everything works, you can see when I select something in the middle, there's a bar to the left where I can see more details. Uh, just change this. And then this is just a little placeholder text here. Maybe I'll say something nice about our service. There you go, when you call us, mention you that. So click on any button to customize it. You can see on the left here, the text is no more. I'm gonna change that change where it's linking to once somebody clicks the text. And yeah, I think I think I'll put it to the left. For this style, you can there's a bunch of options here. I'll just play around here to see what it can give me. So yeah, I'll just make it kind of a I don't know, a dog hair shade. There we go. Save the changes as you go along. Now I'm gonna change this picture, at least show you where it's changed from. This thing called, it's called a media library. It's basically all the pictures on my server. Or I can upload a new picture. I just have the logo there. So I'm gonna use my existing media library because the theme builder was nice enough to give me all these stock images of this, this cute puppy here. There we go. So update. We go and you can see the, this is obviously normally for testimonials the words here don't make any sense through this filler I'm gonna say something yeah of course great so this is definitely the kind of software you, you where you just learn by doing So just going to the bottom here, um, you, you get the idea of how to change each individual element. The, the header is kind of the first thing people see, so you definitely want to pay attention to your header. Um, this puppy, I'm going to change him to a slightly older puppy. There we go. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to change it back. No, just change it back. Yeah, this one's cuter, so. There we go. So, one last thing. I'm just going to change who we are to about us because in internet talk, everybody knows what about us means. Who we are is kind of, you know, too hipster for me. Step four, add new pages. Go to the new button here on the very top and you hit page. And what it's doing right now is loading up, whoops. And here you can see what an empty page looks like. It's not actually empty because you have your menu on top, your footer at the bottom. The whole idea is you don't have to redo that work, right? We already built that menu for you. I'm going to click the gray folder here, which is going to load up the pre-built pages from our theme builder again. And this time I'm just choosing, you know, something from a restaurant just to show you, show you guys how different themes look together. Just to show you guys how different designs look together. So it's loading here, it's downloading the images. So scroll. Now this has some filler text that actually makes sense so that's cool and we're gonna add another row of elements down here 
so you can you can pretty much drag and drop any element you want so in this case I'm just drag and dropping a picture I'm gonna choose that puppy yeah. and then let's say I want to describe this puppy I'm just gonna insert a heading text and that's it and don't forget to hit publish when you're done There we go, here's a whole new page. As you can imagine, all the work is really done when you add your own pictures to your website. Okay, next step five, we're gonna set up the menu. So we're gonna go under appearance, menus, and this page confuses a lot of newbies. Um, it is really, not too intuitive because you know you have a horizontal menu here right and then here is vertical and it just you just kind of have to go with it it's so we're gonna add a new item to the menu I'm gonna change the label of the menu to contact save the menu Refresh the page, and then there you go. You can see contact. There you go. That was the page we just designed. Actually, when you publish a WordPress website, it's pretty much live to go. I mean, as long as you know the URL, you can find it. Um, this video was just supposed to be very, very basic, just showing you how you know, how, how many themes and how many pre-made web design tools you already have at your disposal when you're building with WordPress. And, and really it's one of my favorite things about the whole community. And I hope you give it a go, even if you're not a web savvy person, um, always feel free to just contact me anytime you want. I'm not selling you any eBooks, I'm not selling anything. Uh, I'm just a guy with a web building company. And uh, once in a while, I like to make simple videos that's really not spilling any of my secrets, but hopefully getting newbies on board to the platform as well. Thank you for watching. It's super beginner friendly and uh, blah, 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 blah. What else can I say? Okay, great.